Hello, welcome back. Another week. Um, this week I'm sharing all the new in beauty. Uh, just before Christmas, I had a lot of parcels <laughs> delivered just before Christmas. A lot of them I've not even put on Instagram yet. But I always uh, try them out uh, before I post anyway, just to make sure that I think they're just to make sure they make the grade, really. Um, just want to run through a few things that I've been using a lot and things that I'm loving. There's lots of new stuff here. Quite interesting. Uh, thank you for your comments last week. Uh, there was a lady that commented about my hair and how I do my hair. So in next week's vlog, I'll be going through how I do my hair. But uh, I've cut rather a lot off, rather a lot. I, I, I just took the scissors down today and I said, D, cut that much off straight across on the bottom. And I did all the layering and uh, it just really needed it. So it's, it's very short for me actually. <laughs> but hey, it will grow back, it will grow back. It's not too bad. Let's get comfortable. Right. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention first, two things that I'm going to mention first, hence I have no makeup on at all, and they are both foundations. Now, Trini London has just launched the new BFF Serum De Stress. This is like the BFF cream, it's just a little bit heavier. Lovely packaging as well. This is my normal Trini London that I use every day. Uh, I mix this with every one of my foundations that I use. It's absolutely brilliant. You've got SPF 30 in here and it just gives such a beautiful base glow with any foundation that you mix it with. I swear by it, I go through tubes and tubes of it. As you can see, this one's nearly at its end. I take the medium. Um, if you go on the Trini London site, you can put in your eye color, skin shade, all that palaver. And I think they do a light, a medium and a dark. Now I'm gonna use my two new foundations over my BFF. So I'm going to use my BFF and the BFF serum together. And also, I've got another foundation. It's by Decipher. Now, this was, I thought, really interesting. I was asked to uh, go on their website and take a look at their foundations. And what you do, is you take photos of yourself in front of the window with no makeup on, different lights, and they will analyse your skin and they will pick out the perfect foundation shade for you. So this has come, I've only used it once. We're not wearing too much makeup indoors at the moment, are we? Um, but I did like it, I like the texture of it. This is the card that I received with it. It says uh, my product information, uh, skin type dry, my finish is natural, I wanted a full coverage, and then it tells you there on the scale where my skin tone is from the pictures that they took, so it's there, and my undertone is right here. So I found it interesting. Blended Just For You by Claire. And that was on the 9th of the 11th. I really need to get some of this stuff up on Instagram and share it with my followers. Yeah, so I'm going to use this, but I will still mix this with my Trini London as well. So, how you use the Trini London, if you're not new here, then you will have seen me use this before. So, it comes out like a white cream, but as soon as you rub that cream, it will change colour into a foundation. Um, actually, I could, you'll see how it changes color. There you go. It's like a foundation base, but 
it's not heavy enough for me to wear on its own but i just love the finish that i get with any foundation i mix it with so there you go i'm using one pump actually i'll mix that into half now so i'm going to use the new trini bff stress one pump of that and i'm going to use one pump of the decipher on the other side mix them together they're actually quite similar shades aren't they i'm going to do one side of the face with uh, the trini so i pat that together so that it all mixes in i love the texture of trini stuff she's uh she's so good she brings out brilliant products so and i can't do my thumbnail <laughs> for this vlog until I've got a face of makeup on so I thought I'd just share this with you it's easier than just explaining to you what it's like I prefer you to see it on right so this is the Trini now I'm going to pat that in with the decipher this is a lot lighter look but that's what they reckon my shade is oh dear it is very light and very god I didn't need that much but that's not a bad thing when you only need a little bit of product is it we'll have a look and see which one we like the most yeah look the difference in the shades is quite obvious the Trini London is a lot warmer. I've had a really bad spot and I swear it's from wearing these masks. Are any of you having problems with the with the masks? I got this spot just before Christmas and it just will not clear up. I've tried everything. I know I don't normally get spots, but this is bad. Yeah, it's been really nasty. I no like it. Right, let's buff this in. So I'll do this one this side. I think it's an interesting way of uh, getting a foundation, getting someone else to choose your shade like that. Especially online at the moment. Everything's online, isn't it? And it wasn't expensive either. I think it was £25 the decipher one. I'll leave all the links below to the items that we're using. There you go. Actually, I think the uh, coverage is pretty similar on both. The uh, Trini London is still a little bit more tacky. But it gives just such a lovely dewy finish, I think. This feels good. It feels like it's set already. But it looks a bit of a cool tone. I think I needed more yellow in there, personally. But still a good idea. Right, I'm going to fast forward you now and do my makeup so that I can take this thumbnail. Right. <laughs> Feeling a little bit more human. Uh, but before I go any further, um, I've got this new mascara. I'm working with this brand at the moment, Prime Lash. And this is amazing stuff so i definitely wanted to share this with you it's actually um developed for us older women with uh fine lashes short stubbly lashes i have all of that i barely have any lashes and uh i've tried this a couple of times and i really like it the one thing that i did find with it is it just doesn't come off this stuff once it's on it's hard to get off 
and that was the only bugbear that I had with it it definitely does what it says um, it makes my lashes fuller and it makes them appear to look longer as well but I did find it really difficult to get off I think you'd have to have um, I, I normally use a simple eye makeup remover or I've got a new cleansing pre-cleanse oil here I'm going to show you in a minute and I find they were very good but I think the eyelashes need to literally be soaked in it before it comes off uh, one thing about this prime lash is that it actually um, is it's got a serum in it as well and this apparently it's working on your eyelashes while you're actually wearing it so apparently it's conditioning your lashes to make them fuller and stronger while you're wearing it which I, I liked the idea of the brush is nice it's got a nice little spoolie nice and fine and I did notice it takes a good few goes to get build up I'm going to use this, so we'll do three coats and see how we get on. A magnifying glass is a must at our age, ladies. I've got a really, I think it's times 10 my magnifying glass right so I'm going to leave that and while I'm waiting for that to dry before the next coat I'm going to use this new kit oh it's full <laughs> why do they do this look so I'm going to use this it's a new uh, lip kit by studio 10 and I'm really liking this studio 10 brand so I thought I'd give this a go. What have we got in here? It's um, a lip liner and I'll colour with that as well. It's very natural looking. And then we've got the highlighter. Um, the lady at um, Studio 10, she puts it along the top of the lip. So I'm going to have a go with that. And then we've got a gloss. Um, it's a bit gloopy for me. I'm not sure that I'm going to like that. But the brand is very good and I I am mad about their brushes. I think I've uh, mentioned these before in, uh, in a previous vlog. Their makeup brushes are the best I've ever used and worth it. I don't think they're overly expensive anyway, but definitely worth a look. So let's try this line. Let's have a little go on the paper and soften the... Do you do that? I always have to soften the tip of it because otherwise you can be working away and you don't get anything come off. And one of the things I like about a pencil, if you use just a pencil and a gloss over the top, I'm not I'm not a gloss lov lover, I would rather use a pencil all over my lips and then a very sheer lipstick. I think that's best. And the lip pencil just lasts nearly all day. just gonna roll it now on my lips to get that color yeah it's a very natural looking color and then apparently you use this on the top and in your cupid's bow to give more of a pout 
and make your lips look fuller. I've gone over that a little bit. Hmm. Shall we try the lip gloss? I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Actually, that is not too bad. It's not gloopy at all. Look how natural that is. I like that. Right, so that's the next one. Studio 10, it's definitely well worth a look. Oh, they also sent me this as well. It's, um, I think in the last couple of vlogs, I've shown you their... Um, primer that goes under foundation that's really nice it's got like a gloss in it for a nice dewy finish I've got the pink for a blush but I asked if they did a bronze and they said yes we do and I said oh please can I have a bronze and the reason that I wanted this was because it won't be long before we're tanning again will it I, I love I really enjoyed self tanning last year it made me feel so much better to have colour and it's no point in doing your face because you're always cleaning your face and I thought this would be great for that and just give me that little bit of bronze on my face um now I've tried this and you need the tiniest amount of this stuff it's powerful Right, look, so there's a little tiny, tiny dot on there and I'll bet you that's going to do, do the job. So I'm just going to, where shall I go? Up here. And look, just that tiniest amount, it does it. <laughs> and I really like it actually. giving it that little bit of extra colour there tiny amount I can't believe how small it has to be the first time I used it I looked unbelievable way too much so yeah yeah really pleased with that I think I've got a 10% discount code for studio 10 as well so I'll pop that down the bottom it's worth looking at like I said I love the brushes I love all of these, the pink, the clear and the bronze, but this bronze is by far my favourite. Let's have a look on my arm actually. I'm going to use one pump on my arm. Let's see what it does. Because I bet it would tan your body more or less. That's not even a full pump. Yep, as I thought. No, it looks like I've got a tanned arm. It looks very orangey, but you wait, I'll buff that in. Let's pull that back. And that was just from one pump. Not even a full pump. <laughs> but look, it's tanned. Right, let's buff this in. I think it's brilliant stuff. You could use this on your legs. And it blends, it's really nice. Right, let's pull this one up. You have to excuse, I've got a mark on my arm, I've scratched on my arm from a thorn in the garden. There you go, look at the difference. <laughs> That's really, really clever. You could use that as a fake tan and it would be half the price. Very good, I'm impressed with that. I might have to try that on my legs. I think I'm going to like it. Right, so that's it. We've done all the face. Skincare. Now, late last year I joined the journey of retinol and it's been a game changer for me in regards to skincare, definitely. Um, and I've been using two new retinol brands um this was the one that i've been using all the way through the winter it's the boots advanced retinol serum retinol complex sorry uh and this stuff has been brilliant you can 
it advises you to use this once or once a week and then after a couple of weeks notch it up to two times a week until you're using it three or four times a week if you like i found two times a week has been more than enough once i've used it two times a week my skin is ready to be exfoliated if i used it three times a week my skin was literally falling off my face and that's what retinol's all about it's about resurfacing your skin now the older we get the, the less our skin is shedding naturally so we've always got this dead skin sitting on our face and that's why exfoliating and retinol are so important for anti-aging um, you're taking that dead skin off which will give you a nice glowy look it's preventing those lines getting deeper quicker and then after you've exfoliated obviously that's um there's space for that new skin and cell renewal and that's why it's so important um yeah and i've found this to be very good it's very powerful for, for a, a retinol that you can just buy off of the counter and it's a reasonable price as well this boots one I found this very good um, and now I'm using this by Dermaworks this uh, box came from Dermaworks and I'm really enjoying this as well I use this retinol I've always used on its own. I've never put a night cream over the top of it. I've just put this on, gone to bed and let it do its job. Uh, but this one, this Dermaworks one, this is a 2.5, so that's quite high. The first one I used was 0.5. I think this one is, yeah, this one's 1.5. And this one's 2.5. But this one, it says to use the... Uh, drops first retinol night serum with vitamin c and hyaluronic acid um but it did say use this and then once this has dried on your face to use the hyaluronic acid serum and i've been doing that and i'm quite enjoying that as well this wasn't expensive this kit but you've got everything here that you need so uh twice a night at the moment i twi twice a night twice a week at the moment I'm using this one and then I put on the hyaluronic acid and then in the mornings I'm using the vitamin C drops which I've never used before vitamin C this is new to me and this is giving a nice brightness to the skin so in the mornings I use the vitamin C and the hyaluronic acid and when that's all sunk in then I put my day cream on and of a night twice a week I'm using the retinol and the hyaluronic acid again uh, and when I'm not using the retinol I'm still using the hyaluronic acid and a normal night cream and I think that is working out really well it's a lovely little box I thought this would make a nice gift actually but you've got everything in there that you need for repairing and creating new skin for us older women I was very pleased with that right so I've done that right heating oh it's been so cold so at the moment I'm using uh, spritzers I've got this one by spa I use these over my makeup called Dali make a good one and uh these have been brilliant to uh, just keep your skin a little bit moist while that heating's on. I don't know if you've found it. it I use 8 hour cream on my lips every night. But this year my lips have been really dry. Arc have just sent me this one. I've used it a couple of times. And it smells lovely as well and that will just keep you going yeah I'm wet now but that will dry off it doesn't doesn't change your makeup in any way it's a nice fine mist 
and that has been keeping me hydrated through the day. I think it's very important. So yeah, I wanted to give that a shout. And also from Arc, this has blown me away. It's uh, This is just a sample size that I was given at Christmas. It's a pre-cleanse and makeup remover. Oh boy, this, this, this stuff is absolutely brilliant. Um, when I'm doing photos and I'm wearing a lot of makeup, um, this has been amazing, you know, for that heavy makeup. And this comes out like an oil. It smells lovely. And when you're putting it on, you can see it's very, it's, it's just like putting an oil on your face. And I'll massage that into my face, leave it for a couple of minutes, and then I'll just rinse it off under the tap, and there is no oily residue left at all. When you're putting it on, you think, oh God, it's like an oil slick. But it really isn't. Once, once you've wiped that off, like I'm going to now, um, it's like you've used a cleanser. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and I really, really recommend it. You don't have to rub, you know, it's it's absolutely brilliant. Let me put my glasses on and have a read of what this says. Right. This multi-fruit lipid blend dissolves every last trace of daily grime, excess sebum and makeup. Grapeseed, avocado and kiwi oils nourish skin and protect against dryness. Margosa leaf extract has antibacterial properties. ZKO soothes sensitive skins. Uh, massage all over face before adding water to form a thin liquid emulsion. Continue massaging and then rinse off. This is a beautiful cleanser and I totally recommend it. Right, and it's not expensive at all either, Arc. Now, I had this cleanser and I'm using this one as well and I love it. I've been using this one in the shower in the mornings. This is an oil to foam cleanser and I found it really interesting. I love the packaging and it smells amazing and it makes my skin feel lovely now that comes out the same it's like an oil and you rub it in it's, what could I wet that with and you add a little bit of water and it changes from oil to a foam can you see that I don't think you can really see it but it's really weird how you've got this face full of oil and then you add a little bit of water and it just all foams up into a cleanser and it's lovely. Definitely recommend it. Let's have a read of what this one says. Oil to foam cleanser aqua gel removes makeup and eliminates impurities gently and completely. And yeah, I would say that is exactly what it does. It's a beautiful cleanser. Worth having a look. And that is by Syrian. Syrian. Syrian Aqua Gel. Right. Let's look at kind of what we've done and what we've not done. Right. Yes. Um, I've got another active serum. I've not even started using this. And this looks very clinical to me. I've been sent this from Face the Future. It's a new uh, skincare website that got in touch. And they've got some very interesting products, anti-aging products on there to look at. And this is another retinol, so... Look, it's tiny. You get a little popper with it. And I'll be sharing with you what this is like. Um, not been using it yet. I'm just waiting to get a little bit more used to the, the fiercer 
retinol before I go any further. But I do think the retinol is really helping me fight off those lines. So, yeah, it'll be worth it. I'll leave the Face of Future website down below. And I look forward to using that. Right, this is my latest love. Um, Cult 51 have sent me some creams and serums. And... <laughs> I opened the box and I was like, what is that smell? It is amazing. Oh, and it does still smell really nice. And I liked it so much. I wrote to them and I said, what is the smell on the tissue paper? And they said, oh, that's our perfume. We, we do a perfume as well. So I'm hoping they're going to send me one. It's very unusual for me to like perfume. Uh, I'm so sensitive to stuff like that. I don't even bother going in department stores. Not that we can at the moment. But I don't normally even bother going out and trying perfumes because I'll get a headache. If it's got something in it that I'm allergic to, I will be sick while I'm out shopping. So it's very difficult for me. I've always worn Miss Dior, Chanel 5, or I've got one by called Dali. Um... I can't remember what it's called but it's made from grapes and all three of those they don't affect me at all so I've just stuck with them for years but I know that this is going to be great for me it's just beautiful so I really look forward to uh, getting some of that if they kindly send me some but they've sent me actually it's not even in there because I've just started using it today um, one of their day creams I've got a night cream, beautiful packaging, and an eye serum. So I'm looking forward to sharing the results of these with you. They did actually send one too many, and when I spoke to them about the perfume, I said, you do realise you've sent me two day creams? And they said, oh dear. And they said, would you like to uh, do a giveaway for your readers? So... That's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing a giveaway for this. But I'm very interested in that perfume, if nothing else. So, yeah, let's have a read about what this is like. Cutting Edge Cult 51 Day Cream is an anti-aging elixir formulated to deliver 40 benefits in just one application. After 12 hours, skin is 20% more moisturised than before application, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, evens the skin tone, firms the epidermal surface and promotes the production of collagen. <laughs> well, we all need more collagen, don't we? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a go. I've enjoyed what I've been using. I've been using the Arc Night Cream for since last summer. I love it. I'm really pleased with it. But that's going to have to be put away for a little while while I use and try out these new creams. So, yeah. It feels nice. The cream feels nice. It has got an SPF in it, but I think it's 15, I'm pretty sure. But I like to use uh, my Trini London anyway. That gives me an SPF 30. So they, it smells good. It doesn't smell like the perfume though. But it's nice. But I look forward to trying these. I don't know what the serum's like. Let's have a look and see what that says. A powerful anti-aging cream. Spe specifically formulated to visibly reduce fine lines and wrinkles around the delicate eye area. Clinically proven to work in harmony with your own skin to firm tone, lift imperfections and smooth creases. This super strength treatment has a cumulative effect so you will continue to see amazing results the more you use it. I repair glides onto your skin and it is absorbed with instant results. Within 15 minutes your skin is left feeling nourished luminous firmer and more youthful 
and it was through their Instagram I looked they approached me and I read through their Instagram and their reviews are very good so I thought yeah I, I would like to try it so there's your eye serum it comes with a little pump yeah, so I'll keep you up to date on that. Take a look at their website or their Instagram and I'll leave that below. Right, last but not least, I've had a new package from Code 8. This is their new makeup remover. Cleanse, soothe and hydrate. Now, this isn't just any makeup remover apparently you, you can you see all the colors moving about in there so you've got a clear there's like a whitey color and then a blue so let's have a look and see what that does when we shake it up Ooh. I'm not sure how this is going to work but apparently you can use this just before you put your makeup on as well and apparently it gives a really dewy effect I haven't even taken the uh, packaging off yet but yeah I'm looking forward to trying this I'm absolutely loving the Code 8 makeup brand as you know if you're a regular here and so I'm hoping this is going to be as good as their makeup Right, let's have a little go of this and see what it does. Ooh, it's very watery, not what I was expecting. Oh, it is like water, it's not oily at all. It doesn't smell of anything. So that will be interesting. What does it say? Decades triphasic formula is effective and gentle, whisking away all makeup, even waterproof mascara, with the refreshing feel of water, without being left with an oily film or residue. Eyelids are soft and supple and lashes are protected. Decode contains coconut oil, a great oil cleanser, while macadamia nut oil provides high moisturizing power thanks to aloe vera gel and thermal water the skin is soothed and balanced shake well to mix different phases lightly moisten cotton pad to delicately delicately remove makeup and other impurities well that's interesting because I cannot smell a thing. It says to shake well, so let's give it a good shake. Ah, that's different. There you go. No, nope, still can't smell anything. I wonder if this is gonna get off. The prime lash but nothing else seems to be able to get off so that will be interesting right that's it that's all the new in beauty for this month um, I hope you've enjoyed watching and please give a thumbs up and if you've got any questions or if you've discovered anything new that you're really liking at the moment put it in the box below because I'd love to hear thank you for watching and see you next week